Hi. Perhaps the most common valuation technique in practice is multiple valuation or method of comparables, which sometimes simply referred to as comps. This video is an introduction to multiple valuation where I discuss what a multiple is, how to construct a multiple, and how to do a multiple valuation using a real life example. This video will be focused on one important multiple called the PE ratio. Even if you have never studied multiple valuation, I am pretty sure you have used some variation of it in your personal life without realizing you are in fact doing a multiple valuation. For example, imagine that on average, the price of an apartment in Côte d'Azur is 6,000 euros per square meter. If so, how much would be your price estimate for a 100 square meter apartment well, it would be 100 square meter multiplied 6,000 euros, which gives you 600,000 euros. What we just did is applying a multiple valuation to estimate the price for a 100 square meter apartment in Côte d'Azur. Continue watching and it will be clear soon why this is in fact a multiple valuation. So let's first define what a multiple is. A multiple is always a ratio of what you pay to what you get. To go back to the example of apartment, price per square meter is a multiple. It is saying that for each square meter apartment you get, you pay 6,000 euros. So it's a ratio of how much you pay for each square meter you get. There are many other metrics that show what we get from an asset. For example, for a firm, if we use earnings of the firm as a measure of what we get, then we end up with the PE ratio. This ratio tells us how much one has to pay per share for each euros in earnings from the firm. For instance, if price per share is 100 euros and earnings per share is 10 euros, the PE ratio would be 10. Now that you know what a multiple is, you can create your own multiples. For example, you can have a multiple based on the number of subscribers telling you how much you pay for each subscriber you get. If you pay 5 million euros, for example, for a social media company with 1 million subscriber, this multiple would be five. We will discuss in a separate video the most widely used multiples in general and some other useful multiples that are important for specific sectors and industries. So to summarize, so far, a multiple is the ratio of what you pay over a metric showing what you get. Now, let's review general steps when estimating prices using the multiple valuation. The step one, you need to identify comparable or similar companies as your company. In step two, you choose a multiple and compute it for comparable companies. Note that this method takes the view that similar firms should have similar multiples. Therefore, in step three, you apply the average or median multiple from the comparable companies to the company you are valuing to get an estimated price for your company based on similar companies. So now let's see how this process works for valuing an apartment and also apply it to value a firm. Imagine you are considering to buy an apartment and you want to estimate its price based on comparable valuation. You first need to find similar apartments, for example, in the same region, the same age, more or less in the same shape, uh, etc. Then you need to choose a multiple. And for an apartment, as we discussed, an important metric showing what you get from the apartment is the square meter. As a result, you can compute the multiple, which is how much you pay for each square meter for those similar apartments, and that's what we do here. Then, in the last step, you apply the average multiple you get 
from the comparables, which is the average square meter price in this case, to the square meter you have for your apartments to estimate a price. So here the multiple is telling me that similar apartments are priced at about 6,000 euros per square meter. I have a 100 square meter apartment and applying the same multiple would give me an estimated price of 600,000 euros based on comparables. Now, let's apply the same idea to estimate the price for a firm. Imagine your job is to estimate the price for Volkswagen based on the PE ratio, which is one of the most used multiples in practice. Note that since Volkswagen is itself traded in the stock market, I do observe its price in the market, the price at which is traded currently, which is 131.63 euros. But the idea is to do the multiple valuation to figure out whether the company is reasonably priced, overpriced, or underpriced. To do that, remember what was the first step? I need to identify comparable companies. These are typically the companies in the same sector, with the same size and age category and so on. I come up with the following uh, four uh, comparables, Daimler, Porsche, uh, General Motors and Peugeot. Note that this is of course uh, for illustration and you can of course uh, debate whether these are indeed good comparables or not. Now that I have the comparable companies, I need to compute the relevant multiple based on which I am going to do the valuation. Here I'm going to value the companies using the PE multiple. The PE is computed by dividing the price per share to the earnings per share, both of which we have collected for all these comparables. I proceed to compute the PE for all these peers I see that the average PE for similar companies as Volkswagen is 4.6 and the median PE of those companies is 4.2. This is telling you that similar companies are traded at prices approximately four to five times their earnings. Assuming that Volkswagen is similar to these companies and therefore should be traded with the same multiple, I can estimate a price for Volkswagen. What I need from Volkswagen is the denominator of the multiple, which is in this case is earnings per share. So we get the multiple from comparables and multiply it with the denominator of the multiple coming from the company you are valuing to get the estimated price. Again, I repeat to do that, I multiply the price earning ratios coming from comparables to the earnings of Volkswagen. This gives me prices in the ranges of 99, 208 euros uh, as the reasonable price for Volkswagen. I compare this with the current market price, which is more than 130 euros. This tells me that Volkswagen is traded at a higher multiple than its peers. In another words, the analysis is telling us that Volkswagen is more expensive than the comparables. Another way to see this is to compute the P ratio for Volkswagen by dividing its price per share to earnings per share. You can see that Volkswagen is traded at about six times its earnings, while its peers are on average traded at four times their earnings. It is very important not to jump to the conclusion that the stock is overpriced and therefore rushing to sell the stock, for example. At least you need to make sure that there is no fundamental differences between the companies that can justify different valuations. For example, if Volkswagen is growing much faster than the average comparable company, it should be traded at a higher multiple and therefore a higher price to the extent that there is no significant fundamental differences between Volkswagen and these comparables on average, our multiple analysis indeed suggests that Volkswagen is overpriced. In separate videos, we discuss more details and complications when computing PE ratios in practice and what are the important fundamental variables that drive the PE ratio.
But I hope this was a useful introduction to multiple evaluation and thanks for watching.